guy goes by the name Common Name of uh, Coral Snake, Eastern Coral Snake. You can see how pretty it is. It's got red, uh, red, red, yellow, black. They yeah, made up my new color there, red. Right here. Hard to believe that's a full grown rattlesnake, but well, it is. It's closely related to the Massasaga, the one you have in there. And um, in fact, the Massasaga is a type of pygmy rattlesnake. Okay, it belongs to the same genus as these guys. And um, this is called the dusky pygmy rattlesnake. It's abundant here in South Florida. This is not only our most common venomous snake, it's uh, one of the most commonly seen snakes, period right along with the rat snakes and the racers, they're incredibly common. Uh, it has the worst reputation of any snake in the state of Florida. Have you ever heard of a snake called the cottonmouth? No. Other name goes uh, water moccasin. Some people refer to them as uh, North American cantils. No? That's a cottonmouth. That's an older juvenile, or you could say a really young adult. Here in Florida, the such species we have, basically our geographical variant of this same snake, uh, gets totally jet black with age. The bigger they get, the big, you know, the older they get, the darker they get. When they're born, all such species are brightly patterned. They look almost the way a copperhead looks. In fact, the untrained eye can <laughs> and it's called the Eastern Diamond by Rattlesnake, and it is the deadliest species of snake in the United States of America. You see the rattle? The rattle is once again a warning device. And uh, the mechanics of the rattle are fairly simple. Very simple, the way that works. You see, there's no bones, no rocks, no pebbles, no sand, nothing inside the rattle to make the noise. All you hear is the contact between the loosely beaded scales. Rattlesnakes are not born with a rattle. They're born with a short tail that doesn't taper. The tail is like a stub, like a stubby tail. Tail comes in and abruptly ends with a single scale. Imagine a cap, like a cap scale right here. And that scale has a very funny shape to it. Kind of almost like a mushroomy bell shape. When the new scale forms underneath the old scale, because the shape, the new one retains the old one from the inside. Now they're loose. They're only interlocked together by that shape. Kind of like a Lego block, if you could think about that. 